made your defense so effective tonight? Well, you know, we um, have had a few days to really br break down some film and walk through a lot of their sets. And uh, our number one goal was to try to limit Courtney Williams as much as we can. I mean, she she's a special player. Um, you know, she got 25, and, and she actually was pretty efficient with her shooting. But I thought we were able to turn her over at times. And, and that's something that they normally don't do a great deal of. Uh, and then we were able to turn the turnovers in the points, which is where we've had our problems at times. Uh, you know, we got them to turn, turn the ball over tw uh, 20 times. We turned that into 23 points. And that's something that we have to be able to continue to do to make sure we can capitalize. Coach, Brianna Jackson put a lot of effort into uh, defending Williams defense. She did a great job. wasn't hitting shots. What's that mean for her to go out there and put that energy out defense? No, and that, that's really something that we've been talking to her about. You know, she she struggled. It's not a secret. You know, she has not been making shots. You know, she started off the year shooting the ball so well and, and, and getting to the line and, not, and knocking down free throws. You know, she went one for four from the free throw line tonight. That's not what she does. But... You know, she's she's getting to the point now, she's maturing as a player to where she's not allowing missed shots to affect how she plays at the defensive end of the floor. And we needed everything she gave us. And it's not that she held her scoreless, but there were a lot of times, especially in that fourth quarter, where they're trying to make a run at us. And we made them use 20, 22 seconds of the shot clock before they even got a shot because BJ was doing such a great job of keep, uh, of keeping her in front of her. Not not allowing her to get to the rim, and then she was contesting shots, and that's that's what you you have to do. So I, I was really really proud of her effort on the defensive end of the floor, c c coming up with four steals, and then she she had two assists and only one turnover. So you know it's going to start to fall for her. What I've got to just get her to do is relax some, uh, not worry about trying trying to find a shot, let the shot come to her. And then she'll she'll knock him down. She she's too good of a player to stay in this slump. If if you say very uh, very much longer. What about the play of Erica? How different are you when she's getting in the lane like that and making everybody else? It seemed like a lot easier for everybody else. Yeah, there's no question. When when, when she's aggressive and plays strong with the ball, it, it gives us another scoring option. That's why I've, I've always said if you've got three scores, you're 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 a really good team. If you can get four. You're very good, and if you get five, then you've got a chance to compete for a championship. And right now, we we've got three. We we've got two every night that I I feel pretty confident in Mariah and Maisha are are going to show up every night. Now our third one is can be a different person each game. But what we what we have to figure out is how we can get Asia Durr back to just being more aggressive with the ball to score. You know, I was actually happy she took that shot in the corner, which out of transition, we're up 13 or 14. And, you know, it's probably not the, the best shot just because of time and score, but I wanted to be more, more aggressive. And then the next time down, she takes the same shot and knocks it down. So hopefully we can get a third score that is consistent every single night. And then our fourth one, will come from a rotation to whoever's got the hot hand that night. Coach, it seemed like you guys made a concerted effort to really attack the paint in the second half and get the ball down low. Was that something that was said at halftime? No, we, we had talked about it. You know, our, our goal was to try, try to attack off the bounce and then look for skip passes because they do a great job. I, you know, we had three charges in the three or four charges in the first half because we weren't disciplined enough to just jump stop and kick the ball out. You know, when we did make a skip pass, we scored. So we had talked about that at half, about we can't have any more charges. You know, we, let's, let's jump stop, they help, let, let's find the open shooter. And I thought we did a very good job of that. Coach, when you hear your name being circled around, you know, interest from other schools, how do you kind of block that out and how do you get your girls to block that out as well? Because I'm sure they're seeing it out there as well. On what now? I'm sorry. Just interest from other schools, your name pops up, whether it's, you know, interest. Oh, uh, we don't even worry about it. You know, that's something that I, I don't even take a second to even w w worry about. You know, now, if an NBA team wanted to come at me, well, then, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. You know, no, I mean, I, I don't worry about it. I, I love being here. I mean, we played a nine, a nine o'clock game and got close to 8,000 to come out. 
I mean, it's remarkable what we built here. Our kids are playing their tails off for us. We start one, one in four, and everybody, I'm sure, was a little doubting what was going on, and we just stuck with what we do. And our kids fought through it. And, you know, we're really excited about where we are right now and where we're building this program, excited about our incoming recruits that we have for next year. So we, we just focus on what we do. You know, there, there's not much you can control on, on the outside, so we just take take care of what, what we're doing on the inside. How big was this one in the in the whole grand scheme of things? With you know, just a couple. No, of it's a, it's a it, it's a big win for us. It's a big uh, our our RPI win. Uh, you know, we have to take care of business from here on out. I I I, I know quite well, and our, our our kids know. Every night we're going to have to show up play. We just can't show up and expect to win. You know, we, we, we proved that in the first month of the season, that that didn't work too well for us. So uh, I, I, can always, I always remind them of that, and they're quite aware of what took place. But South Florida is an NCAA tur a tournament team. There's no question about it. Uh, you know, Ferreira, number 20, she, she, she hadn't played the past few games because of a, a foot injury. Well, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but... You know, when she gets back, she brings a new d d dimension to their team. She she was healthy last year. We played them in the NCAA tournament. She starts off the game with back-to-back -back threes. You know, the kid can score, but what she really does is defend for him. So once she gets back, it's going to just change a lot of the pr pressure that's on Courtney Williams right now. So there's no doubt that they're going to make a, a, a good run in the NCAA tournament and uh, finish out their league play. Jose is too good of a coach. Thank you, everybody, for coming out because, boy, it's late. <laughs> <laughs>